day one of our trip to Amsterdam, we did a lot of sleeping today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. None of which happened on the plane. We didn't sleep on the plane at all. Mm -hmm. All the way from New York to Dublin, we didn't sleep. We didn't actually get tired until like we were half an hour away from Holland. Mm -hmm. Yep. But then uh, later that evening, we uh, we met up with Alvaro and Casey Jones. Oh my God! <laughs> Fuck yeah! Yes! <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> See What's up? Chill, baby. <laughs> What's up, man? What's up, dogs? <laughs> yes. He came to pick us up at the hotel, and then we went to uh, the red light district. We went around the red light, and after that, we proceeded to go to Fibo. Yeah. So we're here at the Fibo. Typical Dutch snacks. We tried out. I had a I had a chicken burger, I think. I had a chicken burger. You had like a, what was that thing called? A croquette. That's not what it's called. Yeah. yeah. Basically, I mean, when you leave it out, SAV is, we didn't just go to this place and order a croquette and a chicken burger and they served us. It was really cool. It was like, I believe I love called it a, a mirror cabinet or something. I don't remember. Basically, they're all in there in this thing all the sandwiches and croquettes and everything. And you put coins in there, like a vending machine. Mm -hmm. But it's not like a vending machine, it's hot, good food. Yeah. And you put these coins in there, and it, it opens up and you take it out. God damn. S.A.V. Talking that shit. Yo, what's good everybody? On this special edition of our vlog, just me today. SAV was uh, feeling a little bit under the weather. But it's all good because it was a cool kind of day. Today was basically what I do. We get, just got to chill, meet cool people, Shh. network. This guy's telling me to sh I understand he's sick, but I'm doing the vlog. This is what we do. I have to update the people on what we did today. How you feeling? I feel good, man. I'm in fucking Amsterdam. They have the smoothest fucking weed I've ever smoked in my life. I feel really good. Can you show us said weed? Yeah, yeah. I shouldn't have listened to SAV. I was gonna get five grams for what, 40? But I ended up getting this, two grams for 12. But this shit is fucking smooth. Like, smooth. I wish you could smell it. So yeah, so I was chilling with management and they brought me out to this event um, at Cinema View, beautiful theater out here in Holland. Fuck yeah. I'm hyped about this movie. Yeah? It's gonna be dope. It's gonna be dope. It's gonna be amazing. Fuck yeah. First of all, before I even get to the film, it was super cool because they bring me into this theater and, you know, of course, I'm me. And, uh, my manager, Hugo, introduced me to, like, all the big cheeses. I met Raymond, who runs, like, Fleet Music here, and Case. Case was, uh, Universal Music, the head honcho. So I'm, like, with all these big suit guys, and my manager's like, Oh, this is Mysterio Fight Club, and just bullshitting with the dudes. So, yeah, uh, the irony isn't lost on me that people think I'm gonna bootleg this shit. We're in the theater now. They think I'm gonna straight up upload this to Pirate Bay after the theater. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just chilling, just capturing the moment. What's the name of this theater here? Uh, it's called Vu. Vu. Can you survive without football? It's called Vu. See, yes. This dude's the man. That's my dude. He might be angry, I don't know. I have my camera on, of course, and I'm walking around. They thought I was gonna bootleg the movie, and they're like, somebody went up to my manager and they were like, make sure the masked guy doesn't bootleg the movie. So, so I had to turn it off at some point. But, um, before the movie, they had like a big propaganda video. Hold up! <laughs> Dude, yo, I'm almost done. Give me a minute. I'm not really gonna get into like the particulars of the plot. I'm really stoned, and um, I'm just gonna ramble, and I'm not really gonna, I don't know what I'm talking about when I'm high, so 
I'm not even gonna try to express that with that because it's a very complicated film. What the fuck, man? But um. Sightseeing. What's the Eiffel Tower in Notre Dame? That's it. Yeah. We're here. We're here. Looks like a beautiful church. The priest is very excited to have a masked man standing up front. We were staying in Paris. To get away from your parents And I thought, wow If I could take this in a shot right now I don't think that we could work this out I went to Paris to work with uh, Frico Frico Hey, what's oh, up, everybody? Go, 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 go. What's up, yeah? Hey, what's up, everybody? We were just in Paris no, We are in Paris <laughs> Hey, what's up, everybody? We're in Paris right now. So today, we went to the Party Squad studio. Before we went there, though, we had to drive back from Paris. That's true. I, you forgot because you slept the whole way. I slept five hours. Our managers, Jesse and Han, they remember because they drove for yeah. five hours where you slept. Well, I was also on zero sleep. And I had a fever the night before, so give me some credit. We literally drove from France and went straight to the studio. Party Squad Studio. We're making a dope track. More radio on the radio tip, right? More radio friendly. Radio friendly. It's got some Mumba vibes to it, some dance hall vibes. It's gonna be a dope track. We made a light to down the eyes. Oh, Drown and cries. What do they wake down? Drown and cries come out of your throat, your mouth. That's where we gotta connect, you know what I'm saying? Fam. Really looking forward to finishing it with uh, Party Squad. You know Fight Club wouldn't sell out. Like, anything we do, we bring the dopeness to it. So it's fire! Be all good. Good bread. Like baguettes. Mm-hmm.